<coughs> Hello guys, in the previous video we have learned about how to create a standard application. To create a standard application, we have to use, utilize the principles of object oriented program. So today we will have a brief discussion about encapsulation. So encapsulation is the principle which belongs to object oriented program. So here we, it is a full form of o, object, right, it is the full form of this OOP object oriented program object oriented program so when it comes to object what is an object an object is actually a memory block okay it is a memory block it is a memory block okay which is created by the developer which is created by the developer it is used to store all non static members it is used to store all non static members okay what are the non static members the members which are declared without using static keyword is known as non static members okay we will see that example right now and once we will uh, remember how to create an object so to create an object we will we'll use class name object reference variable equals new operator class name construct so this is how we create the object we create the object in this format here this class name is nothing but data type this is the reference variable new operator and the class name construct ok this is how we create the object before creating the object it should have some Okay, uh, blueprint. We we call it as a class. Means to utilize the class name as a data type, we have to create a class. So how we, how do we define the class? By okay, using the class keyword, we'll write the class name and we'll write the program. So in the same way, we will be implementing the encapsulation principle today. Now, okay. So we'll go for the encapsulation. So this encapsulation principle is used to enhance the security of the application. It is used to secure the data. It is used to secure the data. So in order to secure the data, it should be hided from the other users or from other particular section. Okay. To hide the data, to hide the data, encapsulation is used to hide the data, the simple data like password account number all the same to hide the data first we have to know data is very simple data will be stored in simple variables simple variables okay so we can understand that data will be okay stored in simple variables will be stored in simple variables right so here we have to understand to hide the data we have to declare the variables as private declare the variables as private okay we will be declaring them as private now we will see how to declare them as private so we will declare the non-static members as private okay we will be creating a class class bank and here I will be declaring one of the variable private string password so for today I am declaring only one uh, variable why because we can complete within less space and with, within less time so once again I am revising encapsulation is used to hide the data important data data will be stored in a simple variables variables as declared as private so that data inside the variable will be secured so we are we are declaring them as private the variables and then we are writing the program now this variable is declared as private whenever it is declared as private in a main method class it is not visible inside the main method class okay we will be having main method will be having main method in this class it is not visible it will not be visible because it is declared as private in order to access this variable 
we will be writing uh, getters and setters getters are setters are nothing but a format which is followed by all your inbuilt libraries in java okay so we'll be declaring them as private and accessing means i am accessing this variable with the help of the methods we call it as getters and setters so first we will set the variable set the data inside this variable public void set and it is prefixed with set in order to update the value inside this variable it is prefixed with set capital p set password and here we'll write the argument same as the variable name but it is a local value string password and then here i will access this global password this is local password global password will be accessed with the help of this keyword this dot password equals password so this is how it set the data inside the bank object password variable and in order to retrieve the value inside the password will be writing getter method okay here the return type should be same as this data type string string get password get password and here we'll be using a return keyword in order to get the password return password so this is how we define the encapsulation principle in the same way we will be declaring the other variables for all the variables we will be writing these getters and setter methods means for every variable there will be two methods in order to access that variable means i can either update the value or i can get the value inside this variable this is how we implement the encapsulation principle and we will be accessing this object by creating the bank object bank b equals to new of bank constructor and b dot b dot i am setting the value inside the bank object b dot set password i am accessing this method to update the value inside the bank object sk369 i am giving some value inside the bank object so whenever the bank object is created like this so when we are calling set password method so inside the password variable which is declared as private will be initialized with sk369 okay this is how the value will be stored with the help of set password method actually it is not variable it is a method will be passing like this sorry i have written wrong so here we will be passing the actual argument this is the argument we are passing to this method so that it will be stored inside the password variable of this bank object now in order to retrieve that we will be writing sop ln of system dot out dot print ln b dot get password it will give me the password okay and you may get doubts like why we have to write the name as this because it is the format which is followed by all your inbuilt classes in java libraries okay it will be followed in order to update the value they use set password or set the name in that format in the same way get password get name this kind of format is followed to okay to apply encapsulation principle and this is about encapsulation thank you guys